Hillsboro Television News Breaks, connecting you to county events. It's our second year here at Mosey, and it's great for all the residents to come and see all the exhibits. We've got, you know, tons of vendors here that are showing off, you know, how to get prepared, give you information, because the one thing we want our residents um, to feel safe about is that we have an emergency management department that is totally ready, but we want to make our citizens ready as much as they are um, so that everybody's on the same page. And then in case we get that bad storm, we will be prepared for anything. One of the most important factors for anyone coming to the Mosey Hurricane Expo is really to learn about how to develop your own hurricane safety plan. And that includes a NOAA weather radio, it includes having enough supplies on hand for at least three days without power. Because typically when a hurricane or tropical storm comes to the area, power goes out, and sometimes it can be out for as much as three days, hopefully shorter, hopefully not longer. But again, emergency response officials and the National Weather Service suggest having enough supplies for three days. That's enough water, enough food, non-perishable items, but also a hurricane safety kit needs to involve you knowing about your area. So again, you have to know what county you live in. Is it Hillsborough County? Is it Pinellas County, Manatee County, Pasco County, whatever it may be. And you want to know whether or not you live in an evacuation zone. So you can go to the county emergency management websites, put your zip code in, and you can determine if you're in a flood zone. Because the number one killer of a hurricane is not tornadoes, it's not lightning, it's not even the wind. It's actually going to be water, and it's also going to be inland flooding. I mean, I think this is fantastic to get people out and energized and basically get them prepared for the upcoming hurricane season. Obviously, it's been a long time since Tampa was hit by a major hurricane. The last one that really devastated the city was all the way back in 1921. So it's been a very long time, but obviously it may not be this year. It may not be for another 100 years, but it could perhaps be this year. So it's important to be prepared um, and have a plan in case the storms do threaten this year. Well, I think really the idea is, is People are curious, they want to know how active they think the season's going to be. Our forecasts are for the Atlantic as a whole. We can't forecast, say, storms hitting Hillsborough County. There's no skill at being able to do that. But what we can say is, we think this year is going to be above average, below average, or near average, which is what we're forecasting for this year. Uh, in terms of what people should do with the forecast, it's an informational tool, it's not a preparedness tool. You just need to be prepared the same every hurricane season because it just takes that one storm to make it a very active season for you. Well, you know, there's a lot of information, especially online. You can go to Hillsborough County's website, get as much information as you like about preparedness. We have everything from how to uh, make a kit, uh, to talk about evacuation plans, also a lot of other resources out there that you can use with your family if you have a business, how you can write your business emergency plan. All that information is online. Take advantage of it now, so we need to be ready as we go into this hurricane season.